A reddening of the eyes, lowered body temperature. Only the pot smokers seemed obsessed with the idea of turning others on. This is some redneck fabulous spray booth setup. Sorry, neighbors. Today's plan of action, to paint the side of the van in the driveway. I'm not a professional, stubbornly ambitious. What could possibly go wrong? I forgot that this sticker was on the guy. This thing's in the way, so a little tip to take off the sticker, heat gun and some uh, blades. So the heat takes off the vinyl real quick, but there's like lots of nasty residue. That's where the degreaser comes in. The bomb track is still alive. The Rat King, the Stinner, P29er, Sento, the main mean machine. Yeah, and a, and a couple other folks been asking about. The Ascent still lives, and actually, I kind of like it as a commuter, hence the flat pedals. This is a cleaver. It's a truck bike, and it was made by a guy named Sean Cleaver in the Bay Area. Rumor has it, it's an old specialized rock hopper that's been modified, and heavily modified. The rack connects to the frame, the steering is independent, of the mount, which is superior for weight. You can easily cart another person on there, although it's effort. Uh, the brakes kind of do reminisce of those rock hopper days. This is a Sturmy Archer drum brake. That bike's cool as fuck. Wait, have you ever seen Ellie's bike? Look at that badass Ellie Marks. Yeah, the degreaser, it just eats it off of there. Because a lot of this has been just fried by the sun for the last 25 years, there's a nice tooth to it, which makes it really good to paint on. Uh, there's only a couple spots that have like a bit of a sheen, so I will just tooth them up with a 200 grit. Ooh, after you sand it, hit it with the tack cloth. Get all that dust off. Now it's time to mask the living piss out of this thing. A personal favorite tool for masking, the 3M hand masker. I learned this from my neighbor Dick, who is 70 years old and working on constant projects. He lives right over there. This thing's awesome. Word to the wise. I wish I'd known about this thing years ago. Masking is rather tedious, but oddly satisfying. Yeah, who knew? Finally, a use for all that clear plastic packaging that you feel guilty throwing away and nobody wants to hold on to. But it does make good masking material, as long as there's no holes. So much masking, jeepers. It's everywhere. But the thing is, the overspray is real. You gotta mask off way more than you think. Now I gotta set up the paint and spray this thing. Conditions are optimal. Little to no wind. It's like around 70 degrees. It's perfect. Let's see how it goes. I always get just a little bit anxious just before I start painting. Once the paint kicks off, the window for time starts closing. Just kinda need to move as consistently as possible. Oh, the shit stinks. Oh, and the paint that I'm using, Eastwood Single Stage Urethane. It's utilitarian, it's super easy to use, it looks good, not sponsored. First coat is done, 20 minute wait, and then I get hit it with the number two. Okay, it is like a week later, and essentially I ran out of paint on the first run. I thought it might be enough, but it was not. There's a decent amount of streaking on the side of the van because it's a big flat surface. It shows everything. What I'm going to do is sand it down with 100 grit with a round orbital sander. I have more paint coming tomorrow. Give it another coat, and then we'll see how it does. It is pretty funny to have this big, like, masked off block of crap in your driveway when you're, you know, the neighbors are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? This 
thing's so loud. This is my solution to the sound. A little bull blanket. <laughs> that ought to do it. Sanded, prepped. Paint supply came in, so I can put as much fucking paint on this thing as I can handle. The conditions are pretty good. Subtle breeze, but the temperature is right. So, oh, that's, I'll have to clean that. All right, this thing is full to the gills with paint. Here we go. I think it's about as good as it's gonna get. Gotta let it dry. We'll peel off the masking and then it'll just be what it is. The second coat, really. Cleaning up has gotta be the least romantic part of any and every project. This was a big project. I'm not quite sure how this finish is gonna look. We'll have to wait for it to dry overnight. Hopefully it's good enough. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for Utilitarianism. Only time will tell. It is funny to put so much work into something and potentially have it not really turn out right. So it goes the ways of making. Last coat of paint, success. That side is coated, signed, sealed, delivered. Next step is to stripe this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have concluded yet another fabulous episode of Everything's Been Done. If there's anything that you found mildly amusing, entertaining, or perhaps enjoyed, go ahead and click that like button so others can find what you've already discovered. I got two bits of wonderful information for you. The first bit is the first live stream group ride went fantastic. This week we're gonna do it again. That's right, this Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we're gonna take to the virtual trails. How do I tell people, how do I tell people how to join? So there's some tech. I think the best way to join, watch the community tabs and I'll explain the best way to join. So we'll either see you in Zwift, on the YouTubes or not at all. And last but not least, I've got to give a guttural steal is real level shout out to David Bauer for supporting the cause. What up David? And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single moment of this delectable content. Maybe that's it. Is that it? That's it! You want more camper van videos? 